Good afternoon, dear gun. Oh, no. I suppose I should call you Oh Great Manager here. Oh, uh, welcome to Random Play. It's not here, Rena. I'll go check the shelves back there. Oh, uh, well, all right. Uh, oh, the shelves have hard edges. Be careful not to bump into them and hurt yourself. Who's the old lady? Is she looking for something? Oh, my apologies. I forgot to introduce you. That's my client, Granny Laisha. I'm helping her look for a special sort of sweet cake. Sweet cake? So, some kind of dessert? I don't believe so. It's not just a sweet cake. According to Granny, it's a sweet cake with a silly smile. Rena, the silly sweet cake isn't on the shelves either. I'll check under the counter. Okay, Granny, uh, but please don't disturb the other customers. Uh, she can't quite tell me what this silly sweet cake is, but she really wanted to come to 6th Street to search for it, so I thought I'd try my luck at your store. I just can't find it, Rena. I can't find the silly sweet cake anywhere. Oh, please calm down, Granny. I'm here to help. Okay. Do you have any movies about silly, smiling sweet cakes, manager? We've got a lot of silly comedies, but none about sweet cakes. I can't imagine what that looked like. It's a sweet cake that's this big, all round and chubby. And it's so funny when it giggles. Where did it go? We spent the morning looking in the dessert stores, and none of them had a sweet cake that was this big. Mm, silly sweet cake might refer to something round that looks like it's smiling. Well, we're out of dessert stores, so I'll take her to the toy shops this afternoon. You just reminded me. Round and with a silly smile. That sounds like Mr. Panda at the coffee shop. Ooh, a glimmer of hope. <sighs> I rarely come to 6th Street, so I'm not very familiar with the area. Thank you for your suggestion, manager. Come on, Granny Laisha. Let's head over. Rena, I can't walk anymore. My legs hurt, and my mouth is dry. We have been walking around for hours. Granny, why don't you rest here a while? Mr. Panda isn't far away. I'll go take a picture. I'll show it to Granny, and she can decide if it's the sweet cake she's looking for. You guys wait right here. Thanks for your help. I'll stay here and look after Granny while you're gone. sweetness all the more satisfying. <clears throat> you know, coffee is not a must, but a calm and relaxed mindset sure is. The bottom layer is vegetable and ham sandwiches, the middle layer is fresh out of the oven butter scones, and the top layer is low sugar fruitcake. 
Wow. For tea, I have prepared rose tea and red tea. Do you take it with milk and sugar, Granny Laisha? Wow! I can't believe they set up a three-tier dessert platter. The store has a really posh vibe now. Ah, oh, manager! You're back just in time. Ahem. Please come and enjoy Rena's specialty afternoon tea. Uh, due to the situation at hand, I was unable to make anything myself. So these were all carefully selected from nearby shops while helping Granny look for the sweet cake. That's a relief. Oh, I, I mean, vegetable and ham sandwiches are balanced and nutritious, so I can have several. Mm. Uh, sweet cakes? Picture? Oh, right. I took a photo of the silly sweet cake. Is this it, Granny? What do you think, Granny Laisha? Does it look familiar? Nope. This isn't it. I'm looking for the drooling sweet cake. Huh? I thought you were looking for the silly sweet cake. No, it's the drooling one. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm looking for the loud-mouthed sweet cake. The whole corridor can hear it when it cries. I understand. Well, don't worry. I'll help you find whatever kind of sweet cake you're looking for. Uh, manager, can I have a word? I owe you an explanation. First of all, please allow me to express my thanks and apologize for any inconvenience. You see, this lady isn't just any client. She's my evaluator. I participate in the new Eridu Housekeeping Association's assessment each year on behalf of Victoria Housekeeping. This time, my assessment for the best service of the year is to serve Laisha Christie. Yes, Granny Laisha. I had a general idea of what the service would entail as I've participated in previous years, but this time's a little different. Granny Laisha didn't ask for any housekeeping services. She just keeps asking me to help her find sweet cakes. Uh, this test is trickier than I had expected. She might deliberately be giving me a difficult challenge. Uh, but I'll take care of things myself. I wouldn't want to affect your business. It's okay. There's not much going on with the store. I can keep helping Granny. You can think of me as a free guide to 6th Street. Really? Oh, that'd be great. You're an amazing guide, both in and outside the hollows. Then let's cover all corners of 6th Street and capture photos of any suspicious sweet cakes that fit the criteria.
there really anything here that fits the criteria of a sweet cake? It's round, and it makes a lot of sound. I... Oh, it's a record! This music store has impeccable taste. The collection is... Ah, this record. Just looking at the cover reminds me of something interesting. Are the songs on this album good? Or does hearing it bring back fond memories? Both. There was an incident during the recording of this album. One of the performers quit temporarily. My job was to save the day and perform in her stead. Ah, <sighs> that was a challenging job. Can you guess which instrument I was in charge of? Given your personality, I'd say... the violin? The electric guitar! <laughs> There's no way I'd guess that. Right. We've taken pictures of everything we can think of. Let's go back to Granny Laisha. Her sweet cake keeps changing form, but I don't mind it much. The housekeeping association's assessments were always the same in the past. Either a normal service job or going into a hollow to deal with ethereals. Finding something made up is unexpected, but at least it's creative. <laughs> Let's hope these photos contain the sweet cake Granny wants. <laughs> yes. I'm not a sidekick, Granny Laisha. I'm the manager here. Just call me Wise. Sorry, Manager Wise. Please allow me to apologize on her behalf. Okay, Granny. We have the pictures. Are any of these the loud sweet cake? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. None of these are the sweet cake. The one I'm looking for... Oh, I remember now! Waves. The sweet cake was floating on white waves up and down. Yes, that's it. It was a white wave sweet cake. Just like the one always floating around you, Rena. I'm glad to hear you like my bangboo. But they're not sweet cakes. They're my trusted companions with their own names. For example, this little blonde bangboo with bangs is called Drusilla. Ooh, if I hadn't turned on silent mode earlier, it would certainly be making a fuss about how the sweet cake has changed yet again by now. Indeed, why has it changed again? A white wave sweet cake that looks like Drusilla. Master, if I could interrupt. By combining the keywords Laisha Christie and Waves, I have found a news article about an incident involving a Miss Metropolitan beauty pageant dropout. That voice just now. It's the smart voice assistant on my phone. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh! <laughs> well, that's a very thoughtful AI assistant. Of course, I understand it's your little secret. Further inquiry would go against Victoria Housekeeping's rules of etiquette. In any case, it's a timely tip. Let me check the news. I should be able to find it on my phone. Miss Metropolitan Dropout. Ah, oh, here we go. And it's actually a news article from 41 years ago. On the night of the highly anticipated finals, top contender Laisha Christie, favored to win, suddenly drops out conceding her crest of waves. I see! So the crest of waves is a round crystal trophy awarded to the winner. There's also a photo of the dropout attached. If I compare it, <laughs> it's true. I never would have expected the housekeeping evaluator would be the star of such a contest. <sighs> what a mysterious lady. 
the sweet cake floating up and then down. Oh, it must refer to Granny losing the trophy. If that's the case, it's easy. We simply need to bring her the Crest of Waves trophy. I think you're redefining the term easy there, Rina. Where are we gonna get a 41-year-old trophy? The competition is held every year, even now. I just happened to have participated last year. Wait, Rina, you participated in Miss Metropolitan? Yes. The competition was divided into many sections, such as singing, acting, painting, cooking. Can you guess which I took part in? Based on my last guess with the instruments, I'd have to assume something unlike you. Could it be cooking? Why is cooking unlike me? Hmm, I'm a little curious, but never mind. I'll tell you. The answer is... All of them! <laughs> Actually, that year's competition was in urgent need of a makeup artist, so I stepped in to help. It was quite busy, but still an enjoyable experience. Who could have guessed that? I feel like I've been tricked. Oh, I was just teasing you. Please don't mind me. But because of that, I know the competition organizers. So asking them for a commemorative trophy shouldn't be a problem. Rena, can you find my wave sweet cake? Don't worry, Granny. I'll find it for you. Whatever kind of sweet cake it is. It's getting late. I'll take her home first. You should get some rest, too. Thank you again for your help. It's not behind the shelves. Granny Laisha? What are you doing here? I'm looking for the sweet cakes. The silly sweet cake isn't behind the shelf. Ah, oh, I remember you. You can help me find the sweet cakes, right, Drusilla? I'm not Drusilla. My name is Wise. See it with me, Granny. Wise. Uh, never mind. I'll call Rena. Are you looking for the silly sweet cake again, Granny? Is this still part of the assessment? Oh, but it's okay. I still have the pictures from yesterday. Here, Granny. Are any of these photos the sweet cakes you're looking for? Uh, Granny? Granny, are you listening? Granny Laisha? <sighs> She's completely focused on the TV. Uh, manager, what's that on the TV in the corner? Is that an ad for a movie? Yeah, it's Invasion Next Gen. <gasps> Oh, 
It's about a hollow appearing in the city, and the ethereals inside. <gasps> it's a hollow. There's a hollow. The sweet cakes are in danger. Uh, what's wrong, Granny? That's just a movie. It's not real. Oh, uh, my Drusilla! If this is still part of the assessment, it seems a little bit excessive. Or perhaps Granny really was affected by the ad. We should go check on her manager. Drusilla has a GPS chip, so don't worry. We won't lose her. anymore. My legs hurt, and my mouth is dry. Have you calmed down now, Granny Laisha? Uh, you guys! No need to act so surprised. We've been right behind you since 6th Street and all through Lumina Square. 
you? Who are you? I don't have any money or anything of value. Why are you chasing me? I don't know you. Huh? Granny Laisha, are you being serious? I'm Rena, and this is the video store manager, Wise. Uh, um... No. No idea who you are. Then, do you still remember the sweet cakes you're looking for? The silly sweet cake, loud sweet cake, and wave sweet cake? Sweet cakes. Oh, yes, I remember. I'm looking for my sweet cakes, but I've lost them all. I arranged to look for sweet cakes for someone yesterday. Hmm. Who, who, who was it again? What's going on? Is the Housekeeping Association's assessment process really this complicated? With her reaction to that ad, I'm afraid this is more than just the housekeeping assessment. Have you heard the medical term, Cognitive Corruption Syndrome? Anyone who stays too long in a hollow may develop the disease in their later years, regardless of their ether aptitude. Symptoms include rapid memory decline, cognitive disorder, and repetitive speech. In severe cases, one's memory can regress to that of decades ago, forgetting everything that occurred afterward. You mean she really forgot us? I'm just speculating. But having provided care for elderly individuals with this condition in the past, it's all far too familiar. The constantly changing sweet cakes, not recognizing us. If it's not an intentional act, then it seems like the most likely possibility. Either way, I'll take Granny home first. There are plenty of ways I can confirm my hypothesis. Thank you, manager. You must be tired too. You should go back and rest. Yeah. Goodbye, Granny. Mm -mm. Huh. Goodbye. I'm sorry for the inconvenience caused to your store these past few days. Please, pass on my apologies to Belle, too. Apologize to me? <laughs> well, you're always the one taking care of things whenever she visits. I haven't even met Granny yet. Ah, oh, you're both here. That was fast. Is Granny's house close to here? She lives near Lumina Square, so it didn't take long. But I'm a little worried about her. I checked with the neighbors. She's lived alone for a long time. And she does suffer from Cognitive Corruption Syndrome. If that's the case, Granny isn't intentionally causing trouble. It's because of her illness. I'm surprised the Housekeeping Association chose her for the assessment. By the way, why didn't Drusilla resist when it got taken by Granny? It's a combat bamboo. It could have easily gotten away from her. Is it because it had been switched to silent mode? Even in silent mode, Drusilla can move on its own. I asked the same thing on the way here, and it gave me an unexpected answer. When Granny carried it away, she kept saying, I can do it. I can protect you. That made it mistake Granny for me. Huh? Is that possible? There's a pretty big difference. Could that phrase be some kind of... passcode? The Drusilla in front of you is actually designed based on a doll I picked up when I was little. I didn't have many friends at the manor back then. All I had to talk to was the doll I named Drusilla. Father didn't like the doll. He said it was something the servants had used, and told me to throw it away. But how could I throw away my only friend? So I hid it in various places, trying hard to prevent my father from finding it. Under the bed, in the wardrobe, under the covers, constantly telling it, I can do it. I can protect you. When I became an agent and decided to use Bangboo in combat, I handed this doll over to the manufacturer. Surprisingly, during their inspection, 
They found a tiny recording device inside the doll. <laughs> As expected, it was already filled with the phrase, I can protect you. So, impulsively, I transferred the recording data, along with the name Drusilla, to the Bangboo. A manor? Servants? So you were actually a wealthy heiress living in a mansion when you were younger, Rena? Oh, now's not the time for gossip, though. Let's get back to Drusilla. Granny was muttering the same thing when she rushed out of the video store with Drusilla. To call it a passcode is actually fitting. You're saying she mistook Drusilla for one of the sweet cakes and took it out of the store to avoid some kind of danger? Judging from the ad that affected Granny, her sweet cakes were once, or are now, in danger because of a hollow. But just what are these sweet cakes? We'll struggle to get to the bottom of things if we're unable to figure that out. However, the competition dropout and Crest of Waves trophy were both real at least. And the Wave sweet cake is still an important clue. I'll bring it back with me and talk to Granny. Oh, I didn't realize how late it was. Sorry to keep the two of you. It's fine, really. It's not that late. Thank you. How about I bring some special tea treats I made myself as a token of my appreciation? There's really no need. Then I best be off. Please do let me know if Granny turns up at the store again. How are you, manager? Has Granny been to your store lately? No. Has something happened? I obtained the Crest of Waves replica trophy this morning and went to take it over to her. But the place was empty, and her door was ajar. The neighbors say she caused a commotion late last night, banging on doors claiming a hollow was coming, and she was going to White Wave Hospital to save the sweet cakes. <sighs> She's been searching for sweet cakes everywhere for weeks now, so nobody took it seriously, and they convinced her to go back to her room and go to sleep. But by morning, she disappeared. She often goes out early to look for the sweet cakes, but this is the first time she hasn't locked her door, and the first time she's mentioned White Waves Hospital. Oh, it just seems odd. I filed a missing person report to public security, so I'm just waiting to hear from them now. gone to White Wave's hospital to save the sweet cakes. That's a new term. Searching for information on White Wave's hospital. White Wave's hospital is a renowned large-scale comprehensive medical facility in New Eridu. Earlier records go back 41 years to when it was forced to relocate due to a hollow disaster. Wait, 41 years ago? That's the same year as that competition. With funding from both the government and the public, White Wave Hospital, which has been relocated several times, retained most of its medical resources. Its symbol is a white wave. A white wave? Is it a coincidence? Or have we been wrong from the start? The beauty pageant, the hospital, the wave? There must be a connection between the three. If you'll excuse me, manager, 
I'm going to contact a friend who works in medicine to investigate. Let me know if you hear anything about Granny, even if she doesn't remember my name. Uh, well, as my current client, I must ask you to forgive her rudeness. I'm her maid, so please allow me to remember your name in her stead. Well then, I'll be going. Please don't let my affairs affect you. You have your own business to run, after all. Made Rena at your service. Touch my t huh? Is something the matter? We'll get it done. Preparations complete. I'm ready to begin, dear guide. Hmm. I think I'd prefer it if you called me O Great Manager. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot base my terms of address on personal preference. Using the correct titles in the right situations is important etiquette at Victoria Housekeeping. Now, let's get back to Granny. Based on our current intel, I'm certain her cognitive corruption syndrome is getting worse. Uh, her memory has already regressed to that day 41 years ago. That day... 41 years ago? Yes. The Miss Metropolitan dropout incident and the White Waves Hospital Hollow disaster both happened on the same day. And Granny Laisha was involved in both. But what does this have to do with Granny's search for sweet cakes? There is a connection. A big one. The sweet cakes are the link between these two events, and have been the source of strife in Granny's heart for 41 years. Uh, it's a long story. I had to contact a lot of people and piece it all together. But we don't have much time, so let's talk on the way. Granny Leisha from 41 years ago. She'd have been around my age now. She worked as a nurse at the White Waves Hospital back then. She was in charge of taking care of the newborns. Don't just smile at me. Go to sleep already. The more sleep you get, the quicker you'll grow. <laughs> You're drooling. Let me wipe it off. Hey! That's quite the set of pipes you've got. Can you keep it down? <laughs> You're going to frighten the other babies. The hospital was short-handed. So Granny Laisha was always busy. Still, 
She loved her work. Of course, aside from her work, she had other things she wanted to accomplish. Oh dear! Looks like we've got a bit of a situation. Let's tackle the issue at hand first. Huh. Looks like we need two people to open this door. Look, there's another button to control the door over there. They can handle pressing the buttons. Leave it to me! Not you! Both of us! I'll leave these two children with you, Proxy. Please bring them with you as you search for a way forward. Temporary access permissions for Drusilla and Anastella received. Action request approved. Initiating override. Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! You're going the wrong way! The operational interface has been switched to Anastella. Lead Anastella to push the button ahead. Great! Now Drusella can get through. I've stepped on the button! You can use the permissions I've granted you to switch between them. There's another up ahead. There's a huge switch up ahead. Seems like we need two Bangboo to step on it. Leave it to Anastella and me. Go, go, go! Drusilla, let's... We can get the Bangboo to step on the button or use that box. Gear coins! I found the... Oh, I'm standing on it! It's your turn, Anastella! We can get the Bangboo to step on the button, or use that box. Oh, I'm standing on it! It's your turn, Anastella! hard on that switch. Once they both get through, they'll be able to step on the main switch. Lots of treasure! Main switch won't budge! Need Drusilla! We're here! Gonna step on the main switch! Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Aren't my little Bang Boo amazing? Our guide is pretty amazing too, of course. Now then, let's proceed. Let me continue with Granny's story. When she was young, Granny dreamed of becoming an actress. So she signed up for a beauty contest in her free time. That's right. It was the Miss Metropolitan pageant. Not just her colleagues, but she too was surprised at how far she got. Let's walk and talk. Granny emerged as the dark horse that year. To everyone's surprise, the judges gave her high scores. And just like that, Laisha Christie made it into the finals. Yet, on the day of the finals... Is she coming? I remember in the news. In a corner of the broadcasting room, numerous screens were showing the broadcast of the glamorous stage. But among them, 
An old TV was airing a piece of breaking news. It was a hollow alert for areas including the White Waves Hospital. And so, on the screens showing that magnificent stage, the rising star who was about to be crowned Beauty Queen ran down the red carpet steps without turning back and headed to the place on that old TV screen. Seems we have some uninvited listeners up ahead. Let's pause the story there for now. depths of the hollow if once you enter, you won't be able to return. Ah, it's yet another strange door. Yeah, and more different mechanisms. That should be where the main switch is. Time to step on the button again? Step on the button, step on the button! Temporary access permissions for Drusilla and Anastella received. Action request approved. Oh, I'm standing on it! Stepped on it! One more ahead! Oh, I'm standing on it! to our destination now, Rena. Yes. And Granny... Now, Static, the lock is not... Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Are the kids all right? 
Oh no! The main door is blocked. I remember the emergency exit should be... Ah! I found it! Don't be scared. I'm coming! I'll protect you all! The hospital had already been enveloped by the hollow. It was pitch black everywhere, and things were in chaos. Glacia didn't have time to worry about her tattered pageant gown. She took off her high heels to run and climb barefoot. She kicked away the obstacle that blocked the main door. In a panic, she couldn't remember the names of all the children, relying on her memory. She searched for one swaddled baby after another. Those clothes were all imprinted with the hospital's wave pattern. One baby giggling happily in the hollow. One baby that was drooling. And another that cried at the top of their lungs. They were the wave sweet cakes Granny was searching for. That must have been when she contracted cognitive corruption syndrome. This is the last obstacle. Let's get rid of it in one fell swoop and find Granny. As usual, I'll leave you to take the little ones. Find a way to bring it with us. Maybe that box will come in handy. 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 
Maybe that box will come in handy. Maybe that box will come in handy. Maybe that box will come in handy. Signatures detected up ahead. Granny Laisha should be there. Yes, we should hurry up. Huh. These two bang boos suddenly seem pretty useful. Thank you for the compliment. We might have to battle Ethereals later, so I'm going to withdraw your access for now. Not here. Oh, here! Oh, good. We found her. And she doesn't look hurt. Just... not in a stable emotional state. I lost all the sweet cakes! The sweet cake with a silly smile, the sweet cake with a loud voice, and the drooling sweet cake! I couldn't protect any of them! Huh? Rena. Didn't you say all the sweet cakes had been saved back then? Yes, I'm quite certain they were all saved. There's only one explanation. She doesn't even remember them being saved. Her memory has regressed to the night she was at the hospital, so she can only search for her missing sweet cakes. For her, the conclusion no longer exists. Uh, 
Granny Laisha, do you remember me? I'm Rena, and the new Eridu Housekeeping Association appointed me to help you. Ah, oh, sweet cake! <laughs> it's a sweet cake! Don't be scared. Even if you're all that's left, I'll protect you. Multiple ethereals detected, rapidly approaching this area. Greena, Granny Laisha, we need to get out of here. Things will get dangerous if we don't hurry. Ethereals are coming, Granny. Come on, we have to go. Don't be scared. I'll protect you. I will. You have to let go, Granny. That isn't your sweet cake. It's a sweet cake. I won't lose another sweet cake. She won't listen. What do we do, Rena? Rena! Name, Laisha Christie. Nurse ID, 2107. Your sweet cakes aren't lost. The silly, smiling sweet cake still loves to smile. She became a maternity nurse, just like you. The loud sweet cake doesn't talk much over the phone. But he said he'll come see you right after his concert finishes. The drooling sweet cake has already become a senior investigator. He might be off fighting ethereals as we speak. You didn't lose them, Granny. They just grew up. Now, it's finally their turn to protect you. We'll be done with things here soon. Hey, idiots, I'm here! Hey, come on, dance, dance! Let's not disappoint our customers! Travis in. Full time. Be good, don't be scared. But I am. Stay where you are! Here we go! Go now, challenge! <laughs> Bullseye! Be good, don't be scared! Good riddance! Better dodge! Ready and waiting! Thanks for your business! <laughs> Standing by! <laughs> We're out of danger, and Granny Laisha has calmed down. How are you feeling? Do you recognize me now? You look familiar. I, I think I've seen you before. On TV? It's okay if you don't remember me. But do you still remember looking for the sweet cakes? Sweet cakes? Not a fan of cakes. They're sticky and dry out your mouth. That's the one thing you gotta remember. Do you remember anything that happened the last few days? What you had for breakfast, where you were, and who you spoke to yesterday? Hmm. No, I don't remember. Oh. Oh, I remember now. I'd lost something for a long time, and a kind soul helped me find it. Oh, what was it I lost? I can't recall. Um, and who was it that helped me? That's okay. As long as you found it, the who isn't important. I'll remember all the unimportant details for you. Well now, I'd already contacted all the sweet cakes before we went into the hollow. They're on their way to Granny's place, so we'd best be getting back. Ah, there you are, Miss Rena. I'm your contact from the new Eridu Housekeeping Association. Regarding your call, 
Did you have an update for us? Yes, I've completed the assessment. Shall we discuss the specifics at Granny's house? Ah, uh, about that, Miss Rena. I have to apologize. After double-checking, we realized she wasn't the client for your assessment. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? We got her mixed up with a lady of the same name, Lacia Christie. Actually, this elderly lady came to the association a few times, saying she's looking for her sweet cakes. But staff always got rid of her. But someone got careless that day. They let her in the assessment reception room and then... Well, the rest was a coincidence. If it weren't for carelessness and coincidence, she'd still be out there searching. So things turned out okay. As for the official assessment, could I ask you to file with the association as soon as possible? Later, perhaps. I need to get her home first. There are several people waiting for her. Uh, I'll go with you. Perhaps there is some kind of compensation the Housekeeping Association can offer. Well then, I'll come see you at the store as soon as I'm finished. Hello, manager. I appreciate your help these last few days. How is Granny? The bad news is her memory is in severe decline. She doesn't recognize anyone anymore, let alone her sweet cakes. But the rest is good news. The Housekeeping Association contacted a suitable nursing home for her, and the sweet cakes all agreed to visit her on different days. She may not remember them, but everyone is looking forward to spending time with her. Perhaps one day she'll remember something. Perhaps one day, people will find a cure for Cognitive Corruption Syndrome. That would be nice. Cognitive Corruption Syndrome. Who knows? I've been in the hollows for so long. Perhaps I have it without even realizing. When I'm old, I might be looking for sweet cakes just like Granny Laisha. <laughs> no. I'll probably be far more stubborn, rebellious, and unwilling to listen than her. Looking for sweet cakes. Sounds like fun. Don't forget to bring me along. It's a promise then. When that day comes, don't be put off when I turn into Granny Rena. And stick with me until I find my sweet cakes. <laughs>